For this video, I'm going to do a little different project. This is a segmentation. Uh, painted wood. I don't do a lot of painting in my projects. I like natural wood mostly. Uh, painting for me is like for carpentry and construction where you're protecting the wood from the elements. But, uh, and I like the natural color of woods if you put them together properly. But this case, uh, this was kind of a, a bland wood and this project called for a painting. So, this is uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick around. I'll show you the uh, pattern and the two pieces of material I use and the process of putting it together. So stay tuned and we'll get started on that. So here's the pattern and the material I'm using for this. That's a extra large pattern. I had to make two copies and overlap them and get them matched up so I could make the full pattern. So I've got on the bottom this is some Baltic birch plywood. It's actually eighth inch. And this is a, a piece of unknown quarter inch. I just need something to, because this is going to be painted. I'm not too concerned about the, the wood other than it being good enough and thick enough. This was originally about a quarter inch that I had to sand off. This was a second, in the seconds package. I had to sand some stuff off of it, getting down some good wood. It's a little thinner. Um, I think it's going to be okay. So my, my plan is I'm going to stack these two. I'll glue it, I'll tape them together, put my, mount my pattern on the top here, and I'm going to cut the outline. And then I'm going to take the plywood off and finish cutting this. And then it'll be a matter of uh, sanding and painting to get this to look like I want it to look. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me, let me get it mounted up and get these pieces stacked together. And I'll get it to the scroll saw and start cutting on it. Oh, got it mounted. I've got a number three blade. It could be done with a five or even a seven. But I want a smaller curve if I can get it. And uh, this is all outside cuts. Basically, I didn't have to drill any holes. These are internal, but they're still, you don't have to drill a hole. They come linked to the outside. So I'm going to cut the outer perimeter and then pull the bottom off and cut all the internal lines.
Well, there is the finished project. Uh, it's not the colors I had in mind when I started, but I had to work with what I had. I mixed some of these. I wanted a little more aqua, but I kind of like the way it looks anyway. Kind of brighten up the room, I believe, if you put it in a, the right place. But anyway, uh, this is my first attempt at this sort of a project. Uh, I've done some some of this segmentation before, but this is the first time I've done this sort of thing where I painted it, made sort of a an art project out of it. Now, I'm not real good with colors and that sort of thing, but uh, my wife helped a little bit with it. So anyway, I uh, hope you like that. If you do, hit the like button. And I'm going to move into more towards, I think, in the future into more segmentation and probably some intarsia. Will get me some different sanding devices to work a little better with that, but I plan some intarsia product projects pretty soon. But I hope you like that, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.